Well, first off, I want to congratulate our women's soccer team. You guys know that relationship that I have with uh, Coach Brooks, and uh, just so proud of them. They continue to be the model of of athletics, and, and just so proud to be able to be part of their pro you know part of the the family and the unity that they share. And just what a great job they do. So credit to them. Continue to pull for them and. I uh, wish them nothing but success the rest of their long postseason as they will continue to have. Um, look, found a way. That's the, the, the story of this game. The college football is hard, and I tell you guys every single week. It's not easy, and, uh, but our guys were resilient. Um, obviously, offensively did some decent things in the first half, um, but found a way to, to get more explosives in the second. And then defensively, just a porous, awful first half. Missed tackles, missed assignments. Uh, bad execution, about as bad as it could have gone for us defensively in the first half, it did. Um, you know, and then we were able to find a way. I told our guys, we, we continue to understand that college football is going to come down to turnovers, right? You get four takeaways by our defense, right? Three picks, forced fumble and recovery. Uh, it makes all the difference in the world. And then for our offense to go out there and play a clean football game, show the ability to run the football, uh, that allows you to have 17-point wins on the road. They're hard. And uh, look, that UAB team... They're a good program. They're going to continue to get better. Uh, it's hard to win on the road, and uh, but credit to our guys that came out here swinging and doing what they're supposed to. I also want to thank all the fans uh, that came. It was it was awesome. We came out of the tunnel and to see that sea of blue. I think we had more fans uh, in the stands. It saw more blue certainly than green, and uh, just so proud. Our our fans are phenomenal. They show up. Uh, they were loud. They, they stuck through the game. And uh, you know I, want, I wish them safe travels back home. And maybe we'll see a few of them and didn't. But it, it, look. Great game, proud of the guys. Certainly things to clean up, uh, but I'll put a smile on my face and I'll enjoy this one for the next few hours. Right, how do you feel specifically your, your DBs responded? I know uh, Matt Barnes was kind of hard on them when dropping those interceptions. They get the interception, Simeon, but Air forces the fumble. They are credited with, with all those turnovers. Yeah, I mean, look, that's that's called you know, learning from your mistakes. We go back and every game, win or lose, you're going to learn from. And I think our guys sat there and said, okay, if we catch all the intercept, if we catch all the balls thrown to us, we'll lead the country in interceptions. I think we caught most of them. Uh, we still had some that we could have maybe made plays on, but they did a fantastic job. Uh, credit to them. And then more so than anything, right, uh, you watch the, the first half quarter, and it was like, gosh, what's going on defense? So we can't get a stop. Multiple quarterback run games, variants of different things we have not seen from UAB on offense. Um, but we found a way, and credit, right? It always starts with the secondary, moved its way up to the linebackers, doing what they're supposed to up to the D-line. I know you said you found a way defensively because in the first quarter, it, defensively it was just gone. But in the second, third, fourth quarter, it seems like they contained the outside better and they contained the middle better. What did you do differently when it's just executed better? Yeah, so we talked all week about leveraging the football. And they went in, um, you know, they warmed up a quarterback that didn't even play, which is unusual. I've never seen that. Um, I hope he's okay, obviously. Um, but, you know, they warmed up a quarterback, so you're expecting something. And then they bought in a, a multitude of quarterbacks. I don't know how many different quarterbacks they played. Uh, and they all bought a different element to the game. And so you can sit there and prepare. And I know we joked around, hey, Ryan, did you go back and watch, um, you know, what Coach Dilford did in Nashville at Lipscomb Academy? No. But, I mean, they're, they bought out a variety of different things that you know, we hadn't seen. It. And credit to them. You know, we had to make the adjustments. We had to take a deep breath and go play ball. Also, way too many missed tackles, Terry, in the first half. And I think that's, you know, we can sit there and say, hey, scheme, there, we got to go find ways to make plays on the ball, leverage the ball. And that's what we we're able to do. Um, and fortunately for us, it turned in our favor in the second half. What is that, like the first drive and really the first half, different quarterbacks are coming in and out. It seemed like even play to play. Is that just like, let's just try to figure out what's going on? Is that kind of what the problem was? Yeah, you know, Jonah, I think part of it was, okay, is this guy a runner? Is this guy a passer? You know, you, you obviously study who the number two is listed on the depth chart. You know, they also had a running back listed on the depth chart, number two guy that was out for the season with an ACL. So that that's on us. We just got to continue to look, you know, obviously you're only given a certain window of game film, depending on the number of games. And, um, look, taking a deep breath, just saying, okay, how do we stop, What, regardless of the personnel, what are they trying to do schematically? Um, they ran some quarterback counter. They did some extra things. So, you know, Sometimes when you always haven't practiced for those things, and you say, well, why don't you practice for everything? That sounds good, but you're only allowed so many hours, and you don't want to chase ghosts. Um, okay, what are they doing drawing up? Okay, where do we have to fill on this crack replace? Oh, they're running the quarterback counter now. How do we gain our extra hat back? And so I think part of it, credit to the defense staff, credit to the players, um, to say, okay, we, we got this thing figured out, and then ultimately making tackles that we needed to. Was that a halftime adjustment? Because obviously you come out of halftime, and then it doesn't happen anymore. They don't 
the score? Is that like, okay, we figured out what's going on, and now we have... You never, figure, you, you never figured out <laughs> reality, right? I mean, that's still got to block, still got to tackle. But, uh, yeah, we, we made some adjustments and had to go from there. And, again, credit to everybody else involved with that. But, yeah, I mean, that's, that's why we coach the game. That's why the guys go out there and play. It's four quarters. And I tell you guys every week, and it's, you know... I'm sure we're going to, on the bus ride home, we're going to see some game that's going to be similar fourth quarter and it could go differently. Um, but, yeah, at halftime you come in like we always do and say, okay, what can we do? You know, dif no differently. Okay, what offensively can we do that they're doing? Okay, they're, they're showing some different things. How do we affect this? How do we run the ball more effectively? Um, and those are the things you got to continue to look at. And that, we do it in all three phases. And um, college football is 20 minutes, you know, at halftime. And, you know, hopefully you're cramming all the way up to that last second before you got the stretch to make sure you guys are making adjustments. Now, you also don't want to put so much on the guy's plate that, like, holy cow, coach, what is this new scheme? What is this that we're doing? A lot of it, you, you dig from your basics. You try to draw up everything you thought you saw and, and go from there. You've talked about in the past um, Kobe Drake's reliability, six catches today. Uh, just what did, what did you see out of that, out of him today? Was, was that a part of the game plan or just happened that way? He's Mr. Reliant. I mean, he is a reliable young man that continues to show up and uh, just so pleased with him, right? He. It's not always flashy, but man, he makes some great plays. He makes great catches on the ball. Um, you know, Kobe's not the biggest and fastest, but man, he, he plays. And anybody that can play, uh, be your punt returner in college football, has to have some courage. And that young man certainly has. It. And just he, he's been phenomenal. You know, his whole story. Uh, any any chance you guys ever get to sit down with the young man, you'll just be blown away um, by the young man, what he's come through, and, and how he continues to to have success and how smart he is, you know, from a walk on and everything else that's occurred in his life. So, you know, I'll ride or die with Kobe Drake all day. Just so pleased that he continues to be able to show the rest of the country what a special young man he is. I know the offensive line was much better, and Blake Watson had such a big bounce back game. Other than the offensive line opened up, man, was hopeful. How was he able to have a bounce back game like this? Yeah, I think part of it, right, we, we were all bad up front, uh, running back, O-line, tight ends, at, at last game versus Tulane. And I think... This game, we said, okay, how do we run the ball more effectively? And let's get back to some of the stuff that we're able to do at a high level, um, our bread and butter of our offense. And, you know, Blake obviously uh, ran the ball effectively. He's got such tremendous vision. So even if it's not blocked perfectly, you guys, sometimes I'm sitting there like, hit the hole. And the next thing you know, he's bouncing out. So um, uh, no one ever asked me to play running back or run the ball and see those things. But he's got tremendous vision, um, you know, and he did a fantastic job owning the football, obviously. He got close to that goal line. He, if I'm gonna, we're gonna have some talks right there. I don't know if it's uh, there's some magnetic pull anytime he gets closer to the goal line. On that, obviously he had the this walk in score, uh, but just you know Blake's done a good job, and I was I was pleased with the offensive line. I thought they did some really good things today. On that drive, the the Toski dub touchdown, I got pulled back, and you guys are go back 15 yards, whatever. How important was it to still be able to punch it in at that moment? Yeah, that's that's one of those things that. We talked about, you guys have heard me use the term self-inflicted wounds. And that's, you know, that drive, you know, touchdown, uh, neither here nor there. I'm not going to sit there and question anything. Usually those make you kick a field goal or a punt or deflate you. And to be able to go out there and, and okay, take a deep breath. Let's be resilient. Let's charge on and find a way. And, and that, that, those things are huge. That shows growth by a team. I don't know if that's what we would have done. Last year, certainly, certainly in game one, but I think that just shows, okay, man, mistake by us. All right, how do we grow from this and find ways? And, and that, you know, it hurt us on other drives. You know, we got a holding call that affected us, but uh, that's the name of the game. And I was, I was pleased that we were able to sit there and, and stay focused on the task at hand one play at a time. And that was kind of our mentality this week, and I thought they did a nice job. So uh, this is not your first trophy, but this is your first in-season trophy. I know that... What's your thoughts on just getting the trophy back to Memphis, keeping it back in Memphis? Yeah, it, it's an awesome trophy. It's too heavy for me to lift. Um, I, like I've told you guys all week, I appreciate rivalries. I appreciate uh, the histories of programs. Um, man, it's a cool trophy, the Battle of Bones. Uh, it has me think about some ribs right now. I'll go wash my hands and maybe find some post-game meal. But it, it's neat. It's glad to have it back in Memphis. We are, Obviously, our goal is to always fill our trophy case with as many trophies as we can, if we can keep that uh, home in the 901 for as long as we can. And that would be tremendous. But just happy for the guys. I'm glad they will go get pictures in the locker room. Um, again, credit to a good UAB football program. I know Coach Dofer's going to continue to do it at a high level there, and, and we'll see what happens over the years. Do you, the, the takeaway is, you've kind of talked about this before, Coach Barnes said on Wednesday, like, this is the one thing that we need to do. We need to get more takeaways. 
Is there something that changed, or like guys just caught the ball? Yeah, well, you know, we <laughs> talked about the three drops yeah. last week, and you, know, you guys would have said, but I mean, I thought the guys caught the ball, made plays on it. Um, obviously, the only way you're going to knock out a fumble is if you swing at it, and sometimes it's we finally wrapped up, and then we're able to swing at it, right? I think first half, sometimes we were swinging and not wrapping up, and we're like, oh, crud, there they go. Um, so it was a combination of all those things. And then, like a lot of things in, in college football, it comes in droves, right? Okay, one pick, all right, we got it, let's go get another. Oh, oh here we go, ooh, fumble recovery. And so, uh, credit, we work on it just as much as anything. I think those are one of the couple periods you guys are able to be out there at practice when we work on takeaways. Um, it's just nice to show it, it, it come to fruition on a Saturday game day. I may on the way back. I may go try to lift it. Now, if you guys are seeing me getting rolled out of the locker room, it's because I'm too weak and uh, to try to lift it. But I'll, let you, I'll leave that to you guys. But. Who did lift it? Did you guys, has it been lifted? Yeah, oh, yeah. They were, yeah, the old lineman. And we had some D linemen lift it. Uh, Terry got a good picture of us afterwards. Um, but I'm just glad it's going back in the trophy case. I, I don't want to move that sucker for a, a long, long time. Hopefully it can stay here. Um, but we got a lot of work to do. Uh, excited about Another away game, uh, going to North Texas. Um, another conference opponent, a new venue for us. Um, so being able to go out there and, and see what we're capable of.